Hello, stranger. Are you there? Are you in there? I'm Xavier, your guide to the world we live in. Today we will be learning about rivers and groundwater. Let's go. Erosion is a process where water, wind, ice, and gravity move sediment and soil from one place to another, shaping Earth's landscape into detailed shapes. One example of this is the Grand Canyon in Arizona. Millions of years ago, the Grand Canyon was a huge area of flat surface, much like the surface of a slab of concrete. Over the years, a river called the Colorado River has worn away most of the stone until it went on to stand about 1.6 kilometers deep and 446 kilometers long. It rained today, which gives me the perfect opportunity to teach you all about the water cycle. The water cycle is the movement of water between the atmosphere and land and oceans. And like the food chain, it's powered mostly by the sun. The first stage of the water cycle is evaporation. Evaporation is the process where et when energy from the sun changes the water from oceans into water vapor. The next stage is condensation, where all the water vapor cools down and changes into water droplets that we see as clouds. Precipitation is the water that comes down from the clouds as rain, snow, sleet, or hail. When the water reaches the land, it either gets soaked up through pores due to gravity or it flows into rivers and streams and or back into the ocean. These processes repeat over and over again. A river system is a network of streams and rivers that drain an amount of its runoff. Magic. Tributaries are rivers or streams that flow into bigger streams or flow into lakes. Earlier in my presentation, we learned how flowing water has the ability to erode earth's surface. During this process, another process called the deposition happens. Depositation is a process that happens after runoff in rivers and streams erode rock and dirt. And or deposits them in different places. This mix of dirt and rock is called sediment. One type of deposit is the delta. Deltas are fan-shaped fan -shaped patterns that are formed when a river deposits sediment into a large area of water, like, like a lake or ocean on flat surfaces. Deltas reach far and wide. One example of this is the Mississippi Delta. like there's a lot of water in rivers and streams, there's even more underground. Water from streams and rainwater seeps through pores in dirt and rocks. All the water collects in spaces in the rock particles. This is called groundwater. And the rock it's stored in is called the aquifer. The layer above the groundwater is called the water table. The water table moves up and down depending on the amount of rainfall that's in the area. Below the aquifer is a layer of impermeable rock, where no water can seep through. We've now reached the end of my presentation. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please um, uh, say them uh, uh, after this video ends. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one. So you find your way back home